Doesn't the sky look lovely at night? See the stars shining brightly and look how beautiful the moon is. Oh yes, the moon is completely circular today. This is called the full moon. I never understand why the moon plays hide and seek with us. I could not find the moon in the sky a few nights back. Ah, uh, do you know why that happens? The moon keeps on changing its shape because of its revolution around the earth. The different shapes of the moon are called the phases of the moon. Phases of the moon? Yes, the revolution of the moon around the earth makes the moon appear as if it is changing shape in the sky. From the earth, we see the moon grow from a thin crescent to a full disk and then shrink back to a thin crescent again before vanishing for a few days. Let us wear our astronaut suits and go to the sky to understand the different phases of the moon. Oh wow! I am so excited! And don't forget to wear your goggles. They will protect your eyes from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Oh, the view is so wonderful. Hmm. Now you can see that the different phases of the moon are produced because of the alignment of the sun, moon and the earth. I have learnt on MakeMeGenius.com that the moon shines by reflecting light of the sun. That is in fact true and you are really a genius. The moon shines because it reflects the light from the sun. The part of the moon facing the sun is always lit up and the part facing away from the sun is in darkness. So, it is like a torchlight falling on one side of a soccer ball, right? Yes, you are correct. So, we can say that the lunar phase is the amount of moon we can see from the earth depending upon how much it is lit up by the sun. And this amount changes every day. Yeah. The phases of the moon depends on the moon's position in relation to the earth and the sun. Wow, you are right. As the moon makes its way around the earth, we see the bright parts of the moon's surface at different angles. These are called phases of the moon. I was wondering how many phases of the moon are there and what are they called? They are called phases of the moon. Yes, and the phases are named after how much of the moon we can see and whether the amount visible is increasing or decreasing each day. What are the names of these phases? They are new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full, waning gibbous, last quarter and waning crescent. Oh, I'm confused. Can you repeat it? Why not? Let us have a look again and understand it. No problem. Now look carefully. Phase 1 is called the new moon. In this phase, we cannot see any part of the illuminated half of the moon. Phase 2 is called the waxing crescent. Waxing means that the moon is going from a smaller size to a larger size. And crescent means that it is between new moon and half moon. It looks like a sickle, like when you take a bite out of a cookie. Phase 3 is called the first quarter. In this phase, the moon appears half lit to us. Phase 4 is the waxing gibbous moon. In this phase, the moon appears more than half lit. The moon shows a hump. Phase 5 is the full moon. Beautiful and poetic.
Phase 6 is the waning gibbous moon. The moon is waning, that is decreasing, going from full moon to quarter moon. Phase 7 is the last quarter. The moon appears half lit again. Phase 8 is the waning crescent moon. This is the last phase before the next new moon. Now the faces of the moon are very clear to me. How many days does the moon take to complete the cycle? The moon takes about 29.5 days to complete a cycle through all 8 phases. This is known as lunar month. Does everyone on the earth see all these phases at the same time? No, the phases are different in each hemisphere. Can you think and tell me why? Hmm. Let me see. I know that the moon orbits near the equator of the earth. And in the northern hemisphere, we are standing on the opposite side of the globe from countries in the southern hemisphere. That is, we are upside down from each other. Yeah, that is why we see the moon from a completely different vantage point from each other. You have got it right.